go so I've spent all morning bloody light I've spent all morning uh, turning a door around it opened um, to the right to the left as you walked in I changed it to open to the right so you're walking into the pub and not into the wall why it was hung that way in the first place I don't know um, and then yeah that's taken pretty much all day if you look up at Jezza you will see that it has gone five o'clock. Oh no, it's not, it's quarter two. I'm reading it backwards. So it's quarter to five. So what I want to do now is install a light fitting above the fascia at the front of the pub to illuminate the sign. I've not shown you yet. I'll see if I can grab a shot before the sun goes down. Um, but yeah, we've had the sign writing put up on the fascia board the brew shed, Retford, blah de blah de blah and uh, because the outside of our building is painted uh, silvery grey I've had the lettering done in like a brassy bronze colour but at night time <laughs> you can't bloody see it so I've got some LEDs some powerful LEDs to illuminate the signage at night time and what I want to do is put them in some type of trunking to shine at the sign but I want the trunking to be somewhat slim elegant and almost invisible so I'm looking at a UPVC U channel which is actually a piece of box gutter uh, square down pipe run through the table saw and one side cut off so I'm going to experiment with that I'll make some, probably some steel brackets, paint them black to mount the whole thing up uh, play around, I don't have any plans for this it's all coming out of the head um, if it works it will be fantastic if it doesn't I'll go back to the drawing board
Not even sure if I've done an intro for a vlog today. It's been non-stop, it's been extremely busy and it's not just me at it. It's quarter to nine and look, Gemma's here cleaning out the mess that is um, the past three brewers. And of course, this one contained leaf hop. She may be struggling a little bit. How does it look, hon? I just can't get it out. You can't get it out? Shall we have a peek into the tank? Oh, sugar tits. Yeah, that's going to be difficult, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What's all the white stuff on the other side? Is that just true? Up? Yeah. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing. Yes. Um, forget the bucket. I've got an idea. I'll show you how to get on with it. I have a stick here, look. This is my uh, hop stick. So, in the past, well, I'll put the camera down. We'll come back here, we're definitely trying to do it otherwise. In this middle one, it didn't what? shift. The caustic didn't move it. No, I couldn't do it with a hose pipe. I had to no, it's it fine, it. just hose pipe it. Yeah, so it's coming out. We've got all the leaf hop. Went out the bottom of the tank there. I've rigged up a little sneak peek as to how these brackets are going to look. So we'll have it bolted or screwed to the to the fascia board like that. There's no weight here. There's probably 300 grams, 400 grams, so there's not a lot of weight. And then the plastic gutter in with a piece of timber and an LED. Again, there's very little weight, and I put one of these every 900 mil. And then we're going to screw the guttering onto this pivoting bracket on the back here and that will allow us to set, imagine a beam of light coming out the front that will allow us to set the beam of light where we want it on the display and then we lock the nut down and we have light on the signage cheap, cracking, simple idea We'll put it up tomorrow, we'll see if we can get power to it, and we'll see if it works. And we'll see you then. Cheers. <laughs>